Hey, I'm Del Shores and uh, who we're back. We're going to do it again. One more time. That's it. That's all you get. You keep asking, is there going to be another sorted lives? Well, I guess we're going to do this one more time. I'm back and Latrell is back. Yay, I'm back. Aren't you so excited? Quit zigzagging. I can't shoot you if you are zigzagging. I'm back. LaVonda is back. I'm back. Wardell Owens is back. Juanita's back. I'm back. Kitty Whiskers. My original son, uh, Kirk Geiger, is returning, so I'm really excited about that. Ty Williamson is back. Dr. Eve is back. I decided in a very sordid wedding to move all the characters into 2014, 16 years after Peggy's death. Del Shores sent me the new script, and I immediately said to him, you know, honey, I can't read a script. Bullshit, bullshit. Oh, my line. Bullshit, bullshit. Oh, my line. I know that I'm certainly looking forward to being Latrell again. Uh, the hair, for one thing. Can't wait to get that big hair going. The hairstyles have stood still, though. I, I do want you to know that, but the actors have aged, so thus the characters have aged. Well, I can tell you what I have a little trepidation about, and it's about getting back into this red bra. How excited I am to be strapping those wooden legs on again. It, it's gonna be really fun, I think, for the audience and for the fans to see where uh, these characters have, have gone and how they've evolved and, and what they look like. Dale Shores has informed me I have to get back into this blouse and I might have gained a few pounds in 16 years. Tidy whities I hope I don't have to be wearing these things. My body's a little bit different than it was last time. <laughs> but it would be nice to get a new color. I'd like some pokey dots. All right, I'm gonna give you just a little bit of some of the storylines. First of all, Juanita is obsessed with English royalty. My favorite thing about Juanita is that she rarely falls down when she staggers around. <laughs> <laughs> and Sissy has been reading the Bible from start to finish. Took her nine months to do it, but she is trying desperately to make sense of some of those scriptures. And what happens when there is an anti-equality revival down at Southside Baptist Church? Is Latrell going to be a part of that group of hate? I identified a little bit with her trying to hold on to what she she believes in and what she grew up uh, with and at the same time she just she loves her son so much brother boy has not been home since the funeral and he has not been in the mental institution either and he has a job his new boss tells him he has to step in to 2014 with some country artist but he doesn't want to do Carrie Underwood. Dale Shores always said to me, honey, you put a man in a dress, it's funny. Let's go for the pathos. What is he gonna do without his precious, precious, precious Tammy? You have no idea the journey that I have taken with Brother Bowie. Okay, so who's gonna get married in a very sordid wedding? Well, some things I'm gonna have to keep to myself. Everybody keeps asking me who's getting married and uh, I don't know. I will tell you this, here's a little hint. Anyway, the next movie's all about me and I'm delighted. What? It's not? Oh shit, well I'm gonna be in it anyway because I love gay people and I'm all for equality and maybe if I become gay, someone will marry me. Could be brother boy or uh, could be Juanita. I miss Juanita, it's been too long. Odell is not getting married. Jacob's Ladder, which is her. <laughs> A lot of the cast has already committed to coming back to this, and I'm very, very excited to work with these actors again. You know, how can you not go back to your own family reunion? This Sorted Lives company is a big old family. When the movie became such a cult thing, Everybody comes to me and says, this is my family too. So you've asked me to do this. You've asked me to write this and to return to this sordid world. And I'm so happy to do it, but we need your help. 
And what this campaign ultimately will do is it will help us have the funds to pay Dell for the script. I mean, he spent nine months creating an incredible story with a cast of 30 characters to give you the sequel that you guys have asked for for so long. And we will also use it to create investor events. This is gonna be a big project with a lot of people to pay and we want a great crew to make a beautiful movie for you. So we need investors who loved the first movies to come on board and this will be used to create the legal paperwork and all of the documents that they need to give us their money to give you a movie. Not only does he bring us great entertainment, but he's also helping to achieve equality. And that's something special. I'm doing this for all of those kids who are sitting in those pews out there in the hinterlands, places like Winters, Texas. To be able to write what's currently going on in what is a rich time in gay history with the equality movement. Anywhere in the Bible Belt where they were telling them that they're not as good as, as anybody else because they happen to be different. Well, they're not different. I am really looking forward uh, to the next chapter uh, of Sorted Lives. Now listen, on the internet and Facebook and all that, you've begged and pleaded, do this, do that, and we're doing it. But we need money. We will get to once again explore an issue important to the LGBT community through these characters that we all love and through humor and laughter. We're doing it for you, we're doing it for us, but we're also doing it because it is so important to continue to tell the story of equality. Just help us. We're pitiful, we don't care, we'll beg. <laughs> We're begging! <laughs> so look at these prizes, grab one, everything that you donate is going to go to make this picture. Thank you again for all the support, and we'll see you on the big screen. And we're gonna have some fun. So, come along with us, back to winners. Maybe we could get Governor Perry to do a cameo. Ta-da! Do y'all think I'm still pretty? <laughs>